Hey everyone, um, I'm just going to make some more short videos with tips for Mixed Bus and I guess Arda. Um, because this lockdown doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon, so hopefully you'll be able to keep you folks entertained and mixing in your own studio efficiently and such like. So I've been looking for topics that have come up on the uh, pro user group and the forum recently, and groups came up yesterday for some reason. Um, and you know, normally groups would be super easy. You'd just like click, you'd select. Uh, and you say group, whatever. Uh, that's the normal workflow in most digital audio workstations, and it exists within Mixbus. But we also have this cool feature where you can just like click and drag, and it's as simple as that. I'm gonna call this one strings. Um, and I'm just clicking and dragging on the groups, and it lets me make changes to those groups. Cool. Uh, a few things you might not know, though, is that groups can be accessed on this sidebar here. Um, track and bus groups. You can actually right click and disable all groups or enable all groups if you want. And the same in the mixer window and you'll see the groups appear at the top. Um, super simple. Uh, we can click and drag, we can create a new group if I want. Um, I don't know, git2. Let's say that was a, a group. Um, it's really simple just to go in and change things. We can simply jump down to the bottom corner and say disable all groups if we want and it disables all groups. Um, if you want to if you want to move a fader for instance or, or um, a, a button control uh, and don't want the group assigned to follow this um, you can hold shift so like I can move this fader while I'm holding shift individually when I take my hand off shift everything moves together as a group kind of cool for just fine tuning when you've got a group set up already. Um, as I say the other way to access groups is down at the bottom here in there and one little feature that you probably might not have noticed yet is when you're in spill mode the groups vanish but they still exist in terms of um, enabling and disabling them in this section here on the bottom left. And that's all there is really to say about groups for the moment. Uh, they're very cool. You should just always work with them. Uh, it makes uh, editing and mixing much more efficient. Um, we might talk about VCAs and things in another in another uh, episode or something. But uh, that's groups for now. Super simple. Hope it helps. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.